chicks are very delicate to handle from feeding to maintaining a good environment for their growth. Poor handling has led to high mortalities of chicks to many broiler farmers especially at the brooding stage. That is why in today's video we are going to discuss about the brooding practices that will decrease mortalities or deaths during brooding and this will help you uh, to emerge uh, with a hundred percent survival of your chicks at the at the end of the brooding period. Number one is a uh, body conformation. That is uh, when you receive your chicks from your dealer make sure that you check properly uh, on the body conformation of the chicks make sure you check on the uh, on the legs and other parts of the body uh, to ensure that there are no fractures and also if you see a wet vent uh, you know that that is uh, usually uh, a sign of infection uh, that means that you should not keep uh, you should not buy that chick because it is infected number two is the brooder size uh, brooder size uh, go hand in hand with the stocking density uh, because the space that you are going to create for the brooding is going to determine the number of chicks that you are going to uh, that you are going to put in there and uh, uh, for a standard uh, brooder size uh, a 2.5 meters diameter uh, should be able to hand uh, should be able to carry a hundred chicks uh, this will avoid overcrowding uh, which can lead to uh, which can lead to suffocation and death number three is the littering material uh, a lot of farmers or a lot of broiler farmers have been advised to use uh, sawdust but i discredit that because um, sawdust uh, has a small uh, particles that can be ingested by the chicks and this will lead to litter poisoning i advise you to use uh, the wood shavings which are four inches and above this will avoid uh, the chicks from uh, feeding it at number four is the, the source of heat. Many farmers have been advised to use electric sources of heat. What these electric sources of heat do is that they create environments of low humidity because they cause high evaporation rates and which can lead to low humidity. Remember the humidity in a brooder should be maintained at 60 to 80 percent. If it decreases or goes below 60, the chicks will desiccate and they will die. And if you use the charcoal, the charcoal uh, releases a lot of carbon monoxide and carbon monoxide is denser than the other components of the air so it will settle at the bottom of the brooder hence uh, this will lead to uh, suffocation and death therefore you should avoid using the charcoal sources of it or the electric sources of it i will advise uh, you to use uh, the lantern lamp some of you may ask if the lantern lamp will be able to provide enough heat uh, yes, it will provide because we are going to change uh, the fuel and the fuel will not be paraffin alone. We are going to mix the paraffin with the diesel in a rate of one is to one. So you're going to take one liter of diesel for each one liter of paraffin. You mix them uh, properly, then you are going to add into the lantern lamp as a source uh, or uh, as a fuel. And that will be able to, uh, to provide uh, enough heat for your chicks. Uh, another practice that you must employ in your farm is the, to avoid uh, the use of harmful disinfectants. There are some of the disinfectants uh, that usually have a danger sign that you, are, you should not use those kind of disinfectants because if they tamper with your feed, the feed or the water for the chicks, they are going to kill uh, the chicks. And remember, we need disinfectants uh, now and then so that we can prevent our birds from, uh, from diseases. Therefore, go for the uh, disinfectants uh, that, are, that are not harmful to the chicks such that even if the disinfectants gets into the food or the the water for the chicks uh, this will not cause negative effects uh, to the to the to the chicks make sure you click on the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know other ways in which you can avoid the death of your chicks the chicks in your farm and ways in which you can induce faster growth rate of the chicks